October 23rd, Sunday. Have you ever thought about the possibility of there being another conscious within you? Another being? Another person? It's an interesting concept to think about, but you'd only see things like this on a TV show or maybe a movie. It was just another late night for your boy, and I was looking for a manga to read. Not to make a video on, but just, you know, to pass the time and enjoy. So yet again, I would be on the front page of a site, looking at the most popular manga that just finds out and piques my interest. But going back to the front page on this site, like I saw something that just caught my eye. It was like a volume cover for something and god damn y'all. I went to peep chapter one and oh boy, it was good. It was good. We start this manga entering the life of our main character, Eiji. I'll just call him for now because your boy can't really pronounce his uh, other name. Your boy's um, not good at Japanese like that, but that's besides the point. Currently... Edgy is at a college party, I guess drinking and having fun with a couple of friends, and some girls too, my boy be pulling that as well. Edgy loses a game of some sorts and has to reveal a truth about himself. That truth? He's a virgin. Anyway, reading these first few pages gives me the impression of Edgy and his friends that, you know, they're college losers, there's nerds trying to get with some chicks. But what makes it even more fun to read compared to other horny characters is the way the author can draw comedy with the over-the-top facial expressions. It's just something that really sticks with you, especially with how the good the art is. It probably hits different, in my opinion. Anyway, we move on to Edgy going home that night, laughing about it not working out with the girls. He decides to message his friends in the group chat. You know, have a laugh with the boys. Heading to bed on the 23rd of October, he wakes up on Monday the 24th. The only difference is that he's not in bed alone as he was when he went to sleep. Beside him in the morning, there is a girl this girl greeting Edgy good morning. Edgy checking out the girl's figure before shaking it off. He asks what's going on. But my boy met with a disgusted face and the tears of the girl expresses her emotions. Telling Edgy he was the one who asked her out. They go back and forth with her just saying she's mad because he didn't get any action the night before. And states they just started dating and she would like to take it slow with the right steps. So... It's a bit weird here, obviously, like you thinking, my boy went to bed on his own that one night, and somehow he woke up with another chick, so at this point, your boy is finding the manga to be, you know, a joy, and the conversations MC engages in, pretty fun. The girl leaves Edgy's house in a rush, but before that, he is blessed with a kiss from her goodbye. After leaving Edgy, he thinks to himself a little bit, going through his night and wondering how the girl named Kyoka Yukimura ended up in his bed. At this time, I brushed it off thinking he must have been really drunk and didn't realize that he brung a girl home and even slept with her of all things. But it's got my attention. Edgy on the way to school is met with a look from the mad dog Nawaki. His presence seems intimidating and Edgy starts to slip out words that he's sorry before being cut off with a bow and a good morning from the mad dog. Looking confused about why he's being nice, he notices that he has a bandage on his eye and the mad dog leaves bowing to Edgy. Edgy's friend pulling up expresses that he's surprised how he's able to tame the mad dog. Edgy asking where he got the injury from, with Kashiwagi saying, you did that to him. Don't you remember? Just telling Edgy the story about how he knocked out the mad dog. Edgy looks down at his hand and actually notices it's indeed bruised. We move on a bit to Edgy asking, so when was the fight? Now this is where it gets a little bit strange. Kashiwagi replies to Edgy saying, when? Looking all confused. Three days ago, huh? Edgy pauses and stops in his tracks, asks if today is the 24th of October, but is met with a reply, did you hit your head or something? Today is the 27th. Yeah, <laughs> wild, right? So you guys remember when I stated when Edgy went to sleep and told you, remember these dates? Well, this is why. I think this is where I was already hooked to the plot. With there being t gaps of time where Edgy sort of just forgets things, it sort of makes it interesting with you wondering, hey, what the hell is this MC doing? As he doesn't remember, it's just appealing to me to read, and it's something new I've never really came across in this type of genre. I guess you would say it's psychological, but your boy really hasn't read these type of things before. So already it's a pretty good entrance to the genre. Edgy going to buy a drink, thinking about what could have happened to him to forget the past three days. He snuck up on by a different girl by the name of Rei Shinmoji. 
Already she seems a little bit creepy. The short black hair, the old fashioned clothing, and to top it off, those dark eyes what to shoot into your soul. She continues to stare down AG for a while while he picks up his drink, looking all awkward, saying goodbye. She utters just a few words. Good. It's just the usual edgy and just walks away. Like, just all of these things happening and these little plot points so far, just with people stating stuff about edgy and, you know, a girl we're getting introduction we don't even know about. It's like, yo, what the fuck is going on right now? A lot of these things to think about during this conversation, but I guess I'll let the story tell itself instead of me explaining that. Now, I'm gonna jump to somewhere else in the manga because I want to sort of like, sort of break it out together so you guys can piece it together when you guys read it i would hope at least so i'm just trying to give you guys an idea of the story without telling you too much because honestly this manga i'm telling you the stay on the video and i guess i'm gonna try and hook you as we go edgy now walking home with his newfound girlfriend kyoka i met with a journalist harassing edgy saying if he should tell his girl about that incident edgy drops down in shock begging him not to say anything but he just tells it how it is you're the son of a serial killer, a famous one to be exact. In this very town by the name of L. L. Eji, your father, Makoto Hachinoi, is killer went as far as to target cute girls in university. But to top it off, when their corpses were found, they were found terribly mutilated. I guess this is where a lot of judgment, you know, drops upon Eji, with his father obviously being this so called L. L. killer. Everybody who knows about this past is going to be like, yo, He's the son of a serial killer. I'm going to have to watch out for him. And they're obviously going to look down on Eiji due to his father's actions. Eiji expecting Kyoka to run off. She actually starts to yell at the man saying, Whatever Eiji's father is, he has nothing to do with him. Kyoka tells Eiji she already knew and gives him some words of encouragement. Says, You're not your father. You're your own person. And I'm not going to lie. Already, I'm in love with Kyoka. <laughs> like, best girl kyoka i think that's what we gotta start here she's just great and i mean like she's cute i'm not gonna lie the author draws in a nice way anyway we're met with a crime scene with cops checking out a murder but this murder is behind a tent with a detective moi moi checking it out most people are scared to go back inside saying this corpse is someone else now i'm not gonna show the corpse on screen because i i don't know if i can first of all show the fucking corpse on screen because i get age restricted instantly but when I said the murders of LL were bad, this corpse, yeah, let's just say it's bad. Moonway comes running out the tent, puking, and the shark saying, it's the same as 15 years ago. LL is back. Now, don't get the wrong idea. Like, I said, like, the corpse looks bad, but, like, this isn't an edgy manga. It's a very adult manga, so, like, if you're not into those type of things, then I guess you, if you want to click off, then click off now. I'm going to explain a few more stuff if you want to just, like, stay in. And get hooked to it so yeah of course there's some type of discretion before reading but trust me i don't want to scare any of you so that's why i didn't show on the screen but if someone calls it edgy it's not really the type of way where you would see something like redo of Gila or other mangas i've came across it's more of something what's needed in the manga it's sort of like a serial killer crime manga so everything has a place of meaning and nothing's really uncalled for nobody would really call it a gore fest i guess if someone does that's sort of inaccurate the only time where we see bodies like this is probably three times in the manga. And so far, there's quite a few chapters. So if you're worried about that, it's not a gore fest at all. All of the bodies are generally rarely shown. And it's more of a mystery and drama manga. What really is psychological. So I hope you guys check it out or continue to watch the video to get more of an understanding of it. Now, some of the things I may state could scare y'all. So I would advise you to click off if you're just sensitive to some stuff. Or you don't want to hear anything that would make you uncomfortable. But I'll just... Put a timestamp on the video if you guys want to skip to a different section. But don't worry, I won't show anything on the screen. Probably for me and my YouTube channel, and just so you guys don't get uncomfortable. Anyway, let's get back to it. Finding out more about LL, we see all of his crimes were pretty fucked up. All of the bodies found in his murders were beaten, crushed, and all of the above you can really think of. Eventually, this caught up to LL, and he was ambushed outside his house. Before being caught, he lit his whole body on fire and committed suicide. This was spread throughout the whole town and shook the whole world. But with his death, a message was found, causing a controversial theory around the whole world. That statement, LL will kill again. Now why is this? The sole reason that the killer LL had a son deemed to be a demon spawn and a child fated to live a cursed life. 
Well, I hope that gives you understanding of the series a little bit more now. But before you make the idea in your head that it's predictable, yo, trust me. Y'all ain't predicting shit. <laughs> the amount of plot twists in this manga to this day, to this day, yo, is just insane. It's not generic. Like, please, just trust me and I'll leave it to yourselves. But this manga generally kept me up all night. Like, I read a little bit at first. But then the next night, you know, I carried on reading more. By the time I looked outside, it was just like birds tweeting and light outside. God damn, it just gets spicier and spicier and your boy just couldn't stop reading. We get to dive into a lot of things later in this manga, with Eiji trying to figure out what's going on with him and his head. He comes to the conclusion that it's split personality syndrome. We name the other half B1. Eiji goes looking for clues and well... In this manga, he ends up in quite a lot of situations, including gangs and stuff where might threaten his life a little bit. Just trying to get closer and closer to the truth, he sort of realizes the dangers but want to keep it hidden. Not only that, but we get to explore a lot of other characters we meet along the way, including B1, edgy split personality. It's probably the most interesting character, that's the way he conducts things and lives his life compared to the edgy we know. It's a pretty cool type of setting and how different he is to him. What I really haven't seen before is like a manga like this, what does something with a split personality. I've seen it in the movie, you know, we have movies like Split and no, I'm not gonna lie, it's the only one I can think of, but we have movies like Split where it sort of does this and seeing this in a manga and like Japanese media is really different, especially with the type of themes it like presents with the murder type of things and the horror aspect, the thriller aspect, the drama aspect of a high school student going through this. It's a really cool thing to see and trust me, the art tops it off though with a cool cast at the same time, we can really sink our teeth into this manga and be engaged generally the whole time. I'm telling you, y'all gonna be up all night if you sort of get into this and take one foot in. You're gonna put the other one in and you ain't ever stepping out. Like I said, this is such a cool concept that I really haven't seen in the manga form. But I can only really relate it to, you know, M. Light Shyamalan's Split movie. But I guess that still doesn't even come close to like what happens within this. Well, how spicy the plot gets. And the plot twist what leave me jumping out of my seat. Trust me, yo. Like, I don't even know where to begin with this. The plot twist in this manga, obviously I'm not going to hype it up. Don't expect too many. But I'm saying, like, there are some within this manga where you're going to be like, oh my fuck. Like, generally. I think with me recording this now, this, uh, I'm just, you know, re-editing some bits. This series actually sort of started to get more attention on Twitter with, you know, other big YouTubers such as Masked Man sort of capturing this and realizing hey yo this is pretty good so he was recommended it but your boy has to try and get that video out first but i've been lazy with it I'm not gonna lie this series the plot just keeps getting better and better and i might have a new entry in my top 10 manga when this is done with the series still being translated at the moment but a fast rate due to the roars being done it makes waiting not a problem at all as chapters are coming out every other day with sometimes even two in a day it's just really nice and doesn't really make the wait with one chapter a week it's sort of like one chapter every three days to two days. So it's a pretty chill wait. And, you know, every time there's a chapter out, your boy's on that, whatever he's doing. I stop what I'm doing. Gotta read the latest there are self-chapter. It's great. And another thing to take away from the series is the art. God damn, the art is just incredible. The artist of the series is just amazing. And from what I could find, it's their first work, which just blows my mind even more. And I can't wait to see what they do more in the future. The way they're able to use the pen... To blend black and white is truly amazing and fits well with all the scenes. There's not a single scene where I can't think of this isn't needed. Everything is just needed. It creates an atmosphere where it really fits and expresses what the scene is trying to tell. Whether it be a scary scene, even a romance scene with Eiji and Kyoka, it will make you feel engaged like me. Probably staring at the screen in awe of the art. And stop your scrolling, stop your turning. You're just going to look at that screen. God damn, the art is beautiful. That's all I can really say. With this art really adds on to the story by the author, as the author and the artist are different in this series. What makes the plot really compelling and have a really nice flow to read, and even binge the way they present the story, you're able to take in a lot of information easy and get an understanding of what is happening. But the key thing to look out for and not get confused about this manga, trust me, make sure you pay attention to the dates. Because I get a lot of people saying this manga is confusing, they're backpedaling on stuff, but pay attention to the dates. The dates are probably the most important things. And like I said, I've seen reviews of this manga saying it's bad and confusing, but trust me, these people ain't looking at the dates. And especially after, especially after the chapters 60 plus, 
make sure you pay attention to those dates because it gets a little bit confusing if you don't. You're not going to know what's happening. The whole plot with Airgy and B1 being one entity is just a fun read with us wondering how B1 is getting into these situations and Airgy trying to find out what he's doing. As stated before, going into gangs and diving deeper into the life of B1, the amount of things that are revealed are just mind-blowing. Places and the story the author takes us into, even into the current chapter, what I generally just read a few hours before doing this, is incredible. And I honestly can't wait to see what the author does in the final 20 to 30 chapters we have left of this time of recording. Honestly, I love y'all could pick up this manga and, you know, let's say give 10 chapters a go and let me tell me what you think about the whole thing. Now, other thoughts I have on the manga is just, honestly, I think this is my manga of the year. And I don't know what I'll title this video because nobody knows of this manga pretty much. And if I title it the manga's name, then I guess it won't really get the attraction it needs. But I think with all the manga this year, what I've yet to pick up, I feel like this is the best one. And with the English translation still ongoing, I guess I could really just say, hey, oh, I guess this will count as one of my manga of this year because, you know, the English translation is still going. I do feel it's honestly the best so far. The art, the story especially, the places where the author really takes the story is just beyond other levels and this being his first work is honestly incredible i've tried to look out for other works they would have made but i wasn't able to find anything including the artists like they've just gone above and beyond of what somebody would do in their first manga and they're gonna do a story within like 97 chapters what is just amazing there was something in the story what really i thought was predictable at first like i said it's not predictable i guess when you sort of get to that point like in the latest ch few chapters I guess there's something what needs to happen, but after this latest chapter, all of those thoughts are just gone out the window, and I 100% agree this was the best decision to make. It's honestly so cool. Like, the whole manga, like, I'm telling you, like, this is not even me reading off the script anymore, what to say. This is my thoughts, like, goddamn, your boy tries to make a script a little bit, and then improv as well, so it's, like, really half and half. It's just more of a guideline of where to talk about, but honestly, like, this manga, I think is gonna blow your guys' mind. I think all of you are gonna love it and just you know sort of party with it like honestly there's not really a manga like this what i tell people to read like i've said this in the video but i'm saying this at the end just so it's less unprofessional and just so these are just my overall thoughts on it the art is amazing and the plot twist within this manga yo oh my god incredible i generally think this might end at a 10 or like at least it will be in the high nines or high eights god damn I love reading this finding a random manga when no one's recommended you, but you actually get to recommend people. I feel like that's the best feeling to do. It's, oh, I really can't wait. I need all of you guys to read this and tell me what you think. Tell me in the comments below. You can tell me in the Discord. You can tell me anywhere, yo. Tell me on Twitter. This is amazing. I really think everyone's going to love it once it actually just starts to gain attraction. In Japan, I'm not even sure how they receive it, but I can't wait for the author's next work. I'm going to be there instantly now, especially with this artist too. This is such a good team. I can't wait today. show more people this work, especially. And I don't mean, I even think I've dropped the name because I'm not going to lie. Like, but this has a light novel type name. My dearest self with malice afterthought. My manga of the year. Without a doubt. Hajime Inuyoru and Ito Shota. Forgive me if I pronounce those wrong. Phenomenal. They went above and beyond, like I said before earlier, and I really can't wait to see how this story wraps up. I want to release this video before the manga finishes. I just need to edit it and add a few more things I want to do for myself. But that's all I really got to say. Those are my overall thoughts. I guess I'll cut to the bit where I was at now, but this is just the edit I'm putting in now just to say this is how I feel. And I'm begging you guys to read this, honestly. Thank y'all. There are only so many manga I really read and beg people like i've been telling everyone to read this it's just like randomly hey what should i read i'm like trust me read this it's just honestly great i really want you to read it you won't regret it like <laughs> i hope at least you won't regret it anyway that's all i really got to say about this manga i hope you all enjoyed the video i'm trying to do more of this content lately it's trying to do a little bit more of a professional side to it plus putting my own personality in it so if you guys want to know where to read the manga uh i don't think i can say on youtube so just join the discord i'll give you a link there I really appreciate if you guys, you know, push the 2.5k. We're almost there. And honestly, the support on last, the manga video I did, was the Boys Abyss video. I guess I titled it the most depressing manga that no one talked about. That video did not hit it first, but for some reason, it's like one of my top videos consistently, and it continues to get views every other day. And honestly, for some reason, it started at 100 views. Now it's at like 3.5k views, edging onto 4k. And that's just insane to me. 
how i guess videos like this will age over time so it sort of gave me the boost the morale to do more of these videos for everyone i guess the editing of it is just a little bit tedious but your boy will get through it that's all i really gotta say thanks again sensei out